Welcome back, Redeemers. Thank you for joining us again. My name is Curtis. I'm Nick. And today we got August D. Life Goes On slash album review at the end of all this. Mm -hmm. um, we know about the original version. Very curious to hear how, you know, Youngie specifically has his version of this for August D. Um, thanks for joining us. For those of you who <laughs> had checked out some of the stuff on YouTube and came over to Patreon to check this out, um, we certainly appreciate that as well. Um, any expectations, thoughts? Uh... No, not really. Um, I'm wondering it, how similar or different it's going to sound, um, at least in the production. Because at first I thought uh, when I seen it that they might he might have just sampled it, but after hearing, you know, that it was different versions and stuff, now it was just like, okay, what type of time do you want the production to be on and stuff like that? So, If I had to theorize, I would say it's probably either the same beat or very similar. Yeah, I would think so too, maybe yeah. with light adjustments or just, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I assume they had the beat and just wrote different kind of lyrics as, as far as how the song would be. But um, I don't know the full implications of that. So if you all know or would like to further educate us, we would certainly appreciate that as well. Um, but yeah, very excited. That's funny. Shit. What if it's just the same beat and shit? Think about it. You did all that for nothing. His vocals. I remember his flow in life goes on similarly. Tears in my eyes, Kurt. No, nah, honestly. <laughs> this was beautiful. Uh, this was beautiful. Give me a second. <laughs> just the the way to kind of wrap everything up contextually with the album, like. Yeah, we'll two part it. We'll uh we'll talk about this first and then jump into the album review. Um, Absolutely. We're yeah. done. Good, bro. You can, you can jump in. No, I, I really, I, I, this hit a special place for me as well. Like this, this really was just so beautiful. It's um when you really think about everything too. 
Um, and I know we can't say enough about it as far as everything that he had gone through to, to even kind of get to that place and everything. But within, you know, even BTS's discography and everything like that, it's like when you've seen the amount of incredible, you know, hard work and dedication they put in to, to get to this place, even within respect of the idol kind of, you know, system or, or K-pop or however you want to interpret that, um, they've, they've made so much changes to so many people's lives musically. Um, and it, it feels so uh, really bittersweet and it, like it's it's beautiful um, you know and I, I guess that's why kind of in those things roses and things like that are often kind of used as a metaphor because the thorn that comes with the rose um, but the scent and the beauty it leaves um, you know and, and like I know those are kind of all kind of common metaphors that are used but basically to, to tie it to this is to say um, whenever like all the, this is said and done, whether it's their music careers or, or, or their lives or however you want to interpret that. All that to say, you know, life may go on, but their music is going to stay forever. The impact of who they are, what they're doing and what they're continuing to do is something that's going to be felt forever. And with how strong, you know, ARMY is, um, you know, their numbers and just all the changes and just us living in this Internet age and everything, you know, it kept making me think back at like Whaley 52 as well, where it's like, you know, Whatever, you know, however loud this cry is, even if it's on a frequency no one can hear, eventually it's going to reach someone. Um, and I just have felt that so much without, with their discography in general. Um, I felt that with relative, um, you know, perspectives on their solo albums or, or solo projects or, you know, songs, however you want to kind of chalk that up as well. But um, certainly with this and then tying in all the August D things and everything that this would represent to him. Like, I know Life Goes On was kind of, you know, use um, to be that um, be that song to kind of comfort others and, and basically represent like, you know, that embodiment of a hug or like that embodiment of holding your hand and kind of walking you kind of along this tough path. But the way he was able to kind of use it in this context for him specifically for August D, you know, for anyone struggling out there really in, in any regard, um, it, it really was was just so beautiful. Um, I, I really can't say enough about it. I mean, his vocals um, he's, you know, he's been working his ass off. Um, certainly everything we've seen with, you know, the choreography as far as dance stuff that he's been doing, all the production elements and how unique, um, this feels. And certainly even if you look at, uh, Dawn and everything, like not making this, not bridging this into, you know, a bit of the album review, but all that to say, it's just, he's been working, um, and firing so elitely on like basically all cylinders, it feels like, um, but this song was just so beautiful. Um, I love how this actually adds to what we kind of know of Life Goes On. Um, and I love how it can certainly be seen in that perspective. I love how um, he had that similar flow in the beginning of his first verse that he has in Life Goes On. Um, you know, so it's like I, I love the familiarity within it, but I also love how different it felt mm -hmm. at the same point as well. Um, and I don't know if that was like if this was actually that track that was laid then. Uh, that he had the version of or if it was something that after they made the decision that he kind of went back and, and maybe tweaked a little bit i'm sure at least he did uh to kind of fit in service of what he wanted to tell on uh you know d-day specifically but you know and that's that's ultimately what's so beautiful that i'm kind of you know gaining from august these journeys like you know even like kind of going through all that pain and, and suffering and everything you don't have to let it corrupt you um you know you, you can use it as an instrument for for healing for others and that's something that, you know, I really think is so beautiful in general. Um, but certainly with respect to their music and everything like that, like, you know, that this is stuff that's truly going to last and, and offer healing forever. Um, and I think anyone who's able to internalize one unique perspective on pain and what anyone else is going through and use it in a way that kind of ultimately helps others, um, I just feel like that's so beautiful and so human at the end of the day, too. Um, cause that's a, another big thing within itself is like kind of not losing yourself to that apathy or to that, you know, that negativity that, you know, not letting it kind of rot your spirits, letting it ultimately be something that you use, um, in spite of that, as opposed to, you know, letting it kind of consume you. And that, that really just feels so beautiful. Um, and again, all those, you know, uh, more angry kind of Augustine tracks, the rap tracks that, you know, we're all going to know and love and respect for all different reasons, of course, those are always still going to exist. Those are always still going to be chapters that are there. Um, but I do love that there's also that healing um, to where it feels like anyone who's really dealing with anything 
can kind of find something within, you know, the character, the embodiment, or the shade of Augusty um, to really ultimately get to a place of healing. And I, I just think that that's so beautiful. Um, and for him to kind of contextualize all that in the, in the course of an album, um, you know, enough can't be said about that. It's really just, it's really just beautiful. Life might go on, but certainly this is going to be something that, you know, stays forever. Yeah, this is a uh, really beautiful. Like I said, uh, I was getting a little emotional just because, you know, just even my journey with this being, you know, a little, like I think over three years now, Army, um, yeah. seeing the growth uh, from Suge, um, you know, especially when I was introduced to him, you know, by tracks like, you know, Dynamite, Make It Right and all that type of stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, and then us obviously, you know, going back and seeing what we saw kind of up until now, you know, if you would have told me he'd be singing like this and doing some of the things that he's done on this album, um, you know, I, you know, I'm never one to limit anybody's potential, but it wouldn't be something where it's just like, oh, okay, I kind of can see that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just even, I can only imagine how people who are around and like, you know, pre-debut in like 2012 or 2013 when they debuted, um, following the journey up until now and kind of seeing um, you know, I don't want to be ironic, but, you know, seeing their wings, uh, like, you know, extend and, like, you know, having them all fly out and, is amazing. Even the irony in that, though, is, is what makes those songs and those albums kind of hit so much more, too, because it's like you're, you're really seeing all the unique kind of chapters in, in which, you know, they were exploring these themes. And it, you know, it makes everything hit even more in yeah. relation to it. Yeah, and that's essentially what it is, because now, you know, we've looked at enough content and uh like have have seen enough and obviously you know we still got more tracks going to a d uh d1 and d2 um but it's just like you know this this was hitting on all cylinders um and you know with the way the song is uh like laid out and everything it's a dope song you know i'm not really a liar here or anything it's not like the song completely blew me away um what i was taken back by honestly was more so his vocal talent, um, just kind of yeah. like his cadences, how he went about doing everything on the song. Um, cause he does kind of start off with the flow that he had on Life Goes On with yeah. kind of like the na 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 na, kind of on that type of time, but it just turns into something else. And it's just, he feels so comfortable on here and is jumping into any pocket vocally. And uh, it's you, you love to see it, like, you just love to see the growth. Um, so vulnerable throughout the whole album and we're gonna wait to get into the you know some of the album review um but it's just you know i i knew it was gonna be a feel good message by the time we got here as far as like you know life yeah. goes on uh this is beautiful um i, I want to save some of my stuff so i'm gonna like chill but um i do like the song i'm, I'm, I'm there sorry i'm a little taken back for words no absolutely and, and I, I certainly you know agree with everything you were saying as well um, I do think, you know, the guy definitely was taken away uh, by his vocal as well. Um, without, you know, or with relation to what we've seen just throughout the album in general, like I, I love how much kind of vocal um, Jungi we're getting, slash August D, if you will. Um, so I think all that is, you know, incredibly beautiful. And, um, you know, the way it ultimately services kind of that message, you know, the going from that grungy kind of, you know, deeper tone in your voice and everything to an ultimately mm -hmm. kind of healing, like even octively, just as far as like rap ability versus singing ability, it feels like there's a more positive kind of connotation in the sense of that. Um, so I just think that even on a music from a producer level behind the scenes, like there, it feels like a story's being told just in, in that regard as well. Um, and that's ultimately what's been you know, so beautiful um, for me as far as, you know, my early journey before knowing BTS or anything like that, you know, I liked rap, but I also loved passionate, you know, vocals as well. And there was never like that pairing between the two, really, at least um, kind of until I found a lot of K-pop or at least it was normalized in K-pop. Um, and it's, you know, it, it's just something that really struck a chord with me. But seeing, you know, even the members that are the rappers, you know, having such vocal talent and, and working, you know, to get to that place. It really is just beautiful, um, but also I love um, I love that this is also like a, a lot of a message seemingly to Army, if I'm not mistaken. Like I know he, throughout a large context of everything, had separated, um, you know, Yungi from August D from Sugar seemingly. Mm -hmm. As far like it's at least you know it's my implication of what we kind of have checked out so far, but basically knowing that this was at least originally penned, um, you know, for um, 
you know, kind of life goes on, which was meant to be, you know, a message to army and everything like that. And honestly, just to the world in general. Um, but I like how he does talk about, you know, like basically like appreciating those good times, even, you know, like, like being able to say goodbye, not just bye, like, like, hello. It, it feels like it was tying into some of what I loved about uh, Let Go also, which was a song when they were kind of talking about breaking up and everything. Um, and basically, I'm not saying that it's directly referenced to that or anything like that, because I know it's, you know, very different times and everything. But what I love so much about that song um, is like kind of some of the lyricism that I'm seeing throughout here as far as like, you know, kind of um, some of that stuff. But even if, and this is at least what I'm more so assuming, like if that's on one end of the spectrum, um, I do like the other end too, where it's perhaps like, even if this is just a mes message, uh, you know, to yourself, like, you know, just internally, I, I feel like it also still applies in, in that regard as well. Um, you know, where it's like, you know, I'll never forget the day we met and everything like that. And just kind of haven't gone through, you know, the times that we had gone through together to where it's like almost like if if he internally is saying, you know, through the concept of this album, if he's saying goodbye to hypothetically August D, like I'll never forget the times we had or whatever, or like, you know, the moments either perhaps you were with me or, or did any of this, like I'll appreciate those and we'll be able to kind of meet again, mm -hmm. but it won't be, you know, like this and everything. And that's kind of what I mean as far as the, the let go sort of side of things. Um, Definitely feels like if it's yeah. not healing just for army, it can be self healing, and yeah. I think that just uh, just to double down to your point, mm -hmm. really speaks to the master class of of Yugi's pen when it comes to being able to have not so much just like double or triple entendres, but yeah. the ability to be talking about one thing, but it could also mean this, that, and that, yeah. and that. It, the interpretations are certainly um, you know there. And I like that he had talked about that in the music sketch where he was jokingly saying it, of course, but it's like it really does apply uh, to a lot of what you're seeing in the album where it's like, hey, if you took it this way, it's probably right. It's probably right. You know I mean, just, you know, because I, I feel like that's ultimately what he wants to say with all this is like, you mm -hmm. know, it's like if this is something that can help someone and you get something from it, okay. No, you know okay. what I mean? Like, who am I to, you know, and, th and that's actually what I was going to touch on too. The very beginning of his first verse, he said, I will borrow this music and give it to you. Like, it's like, it's not even mine. Like, it's just, I'm just putting this message forward. Like, I'm borrowing this message to give it to you. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like that's such an important line to kind of encapsulate, like, all those uh, thoughts and feelings as well. Um, but when he's in the second verse and he's talking about, you know, the place that he was for 10 years, you know, seemingly with, you know, the journey of BTS and just internalizing all his inner trauma and everything that he had been going through uh, with countless wounds and glory, you know, the highs and lows of, you know, the, the success and then the, the detriment that kind of he had to internalize again because he really couldn't talk to anyone mm -hmm. about a lot of these things he was going through. Um, like, he he's just really been through so much and just kind of navigating all that. Um, I, I love the, the almost time capsule sort of piece that this represents, too, um, in relation to that because it's like, you know, you almost have to step outside of yourself, which maybe is part of the whole aspect of the character of Augustine, if I'm not mistaken, or at least, it, you know, it, the interpretation could certainly be suited there. Um, but just even stepping outside of yourself and basically being like, I went through all this trauma, I went through all this, you know, pain and hardship, but then I also had so many moments of happiness throughout here. Um, and really just making sense of that. Um, and, and that's really hard to kind of separate, um, you know, and... and either compartmentalize or, you know, however you want to kind of interpret that as well. But just, you know, the journey that he's had to go through, again, you know, his words feel so much more powerful when he's talking about things like, you know, like not just saying life goes on, but basically just saying like, you know, we can, we can get through this. You know what I mean? Like these hardships are things that we're going to be able to navigate our way through. Um, it's, it's really beautiful, and I can certainly understand anyone, you know, who did – perhaps get any bit of emotional, you know, throughout any song in this album, because even if he's on some like hardcore kind of rap type time, he's talking about so much painful stuff or then talking about so much more societal things that people can, you know, relate to and, and perhaps, you know, be frustrated with him in or however the case would be like, like he just does such a good job of allowing you to feel the way he's feeling. Um, and I feel like that's such a incredible testament to any artist in general, but he certainly excels at it at such a high level. So whenever he gets into this type of time, um, it really just hits on all cylinders for me as well. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm ready to get into the album review. 
jump into the comments. Tell us how y'all felt about this. Tell us if y'all got extremely emotional. Tell us your favorite tracks. What hit most for you? Real shit. Um, yeah, tell us what. Definitely want to know what hit most for y'all. Um, because I feel like almost any song on here could have resonated very well with anybody. Almost. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely interested to see how y'all feel about that. Uh, jump into the album review, y'all. We about to talk about a lot of shit. We love yep. y'all. Holla at y'all. Peace.